the lever pull and just yanked it all the way up and she dies. I mean, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> I can see those rebounds, they look fine. Now it's pulling. <laughs> Sound like the RPMs went up a little bit. <sighs> Not much. Some rest. So come down here, pull out these freaking reeds. And let's take it in the sun over here so I can cook a little more. I don't see anything wrong. And they're all closed. Now, are they stuck closed? Is that the problem? It looks a little wet over here. Yeah, a little wet there. Why is it wet over there? Is that where it's leaking man I sprayed everything on this thing with that damn brake cleaner and couldn't get nothing to freaking work except the linkage at the carb right here where the spring is in there blew it right in there and it and it affected the RPMs the way to do it is really is hold it up and see any daylight coming through there's one back there Bottom left, a little bit of daylight. But on the top, I'm not seeing a damn thing. So why am I not getting a good pull through here? Look at this clean in there. It's an enigma. Uh, I probably ought to, like I said, I need to check my compression again. Anyway, I don't think there's a freaking thing wrong with these reed valves. Top is in. Bottom. Going back in. Top's coming back out. Man, this thing's hard to turn by hand. Crankshaft seal, top, bottom. I, I'm, there's no evidence of anything leaking on the top. Now, if it's just so slight, at idle and it's got to be more at high speeds and you should see some kind of oily something up here somewhere you can rub your fingers all over this thing it is clean i don't know man it just drives you up the freaking wall runs great but don't want to idle pretty only every once in a while when it feels like it. So, I, like I was saying, I think the only thing I can do at this point as far as the reed valves go is clean off that crap there on the left, which feels like some like white corrosion, and put a little bit of that damn sealer I have on there because the gasket was wet in a couple spots. Where is that damn thing? You know, when I took it out, it was wet right on that side, right there, I think. Actually, it was wet in a couple of spots. But yeah, see that right there? A little bit of corrosion. So that, that actually isn't hurting anything as far as the gasket is concerned. So I'll do that. I'll go home, get some sticky, slap some sticky on it. Put it back on, because I can't find anything wrong. I, I knew it looked fine from this side looking in, but I had to tear it off to look. I think it's eliminated. All right, here we go. Here's number one. 
See, that is a freaking starter. Damn. I hate that noise. I gotta pull that off. One seventy. Just a hair over one seventy. That's where it was originally. And the bottom was at one sixty. Let me swap this around. Check that. I had to lift the motor up. I couldn't reach that damn thing. All right, here we go. One seventy even now. I knew that damn thing would, would loosen up. When it was 160, I guarantee you one of those rings were stuck a little bit. I knew it would even up. So, man, you can't beat that with a stick. Well, you really don't want to beat it with a stick. <laughs> All right, got some sticky on that. It's that aviation, form of gasket, sealant, blah, blah, blah. I gotta get my carburetor back together. The original top carb. And there was no difference when I put this one on. So let me get that done. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap the rollers out. This one just looks a little bit newer. So I'm gonna put this roller on my carb. And I also, I think I'm going to swap out the linkage. Just, you know, they, they, they're identical, but yet one, mine seemed to be a little bit longer. See that? See the difference? So, I did bend that tip a little bit, try to take up some of the slack in the linkage. But it still looks longer. So... I'm going to swap them out and see what happens. Anything probably won't matter, but what the hell. Alright, so everything's back on. Feels good, looks good. And one other problem that's been since day one on this thing. My neighbor was down here the other day. We were shooting it. And, uh, and I asked him to watch for me because it's hard for me to see and work the throttle at the same time. You know, you're supposed to be on your first line on this model and cam starts to move everything should start to move at the same time well what was happening now with now it looks like everything is that's why i bent that other linkage piece because this was not moving when this was moving you know it was driving me up the wall so i said you watch it you tell me he said no it wasn't well now i swapped those pieces around it looks like it's doing pretty good all right, it's fired up. I really don't expect anything to be much different. It's going to be a freaking miracle if it is. Close to yesterday. Oh, that feels 
twice as better. So I'm gonna take a full run, baby. Let me get this mess cleaned up. And uh, see what that man. I, I'm gonna be thrilled to death if that's all I have to do. All right, she's still idling along there. Let's see what happens. Please, outboard gods. Reverse sounds pretty good. I'll be shocked. I'm telling you, I'll be just unbelievable shock of Rooney. Here we go. Take her up easy. I'm going to tell you what, standing on the back of this boat, all the waves and everything, kick your ass. the last time I roll out I'll get out here in the middle and I'll bring it down to idle and we'll see see what happens I mean it was just screaming out of control no little hesitation She sounded good. That's that sound I looked for. Coming down off that throttle. I hear that mm, nice and smooth. Wow. Is it a miracle or what? Oh God, I can't believe it. I mean, it, it was just screaming. Well, there's neutral right there. Uh-oh. There it goes. Why is it doing that? What the hell is going on? God bless America. How, why, who, what, where, when. I mean, it's just stupid. I'm going to put it neutral again. Now it's fine. I mean, all my settings are the same. I might have that idle out just a hair. Actually, it's probably in more. It's good to think of it. Grills Lakefront Restaurant. Man, it sounded so good until I put it neutral. I, I, I'm just not getting it. Let's see what I'm idling at here. Ah, uh, come on, baby. Do a three, four, same thing as always. This cable needs to be adjusted again. But why is it rev? Out of control all of a sudden. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna go back. See if I can get 34 again. quick it's gonna run wild. Now why? Could be the cables loose. Not pulling that thing all the way down. Let me check that. Tighten up a little bit on it to see what happens. Right in 
Mitchell. Nothing, like I said, nothing has changed. It's, it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go home. I'm tired. anywhere near close to the cam anymore after doing the freaking idle screw. screw. Uh, will it start without the fast start lever? bolt it and dump it in the lake. Oh yeah, baby, you know the channel. <laughs>